Welcome to the DDX Dental Dashboard, where you can find all of your alerts, cases to review, active cases, draft cases, as well as your news updates and special offers. On the right, you can see any coupons available to you at this time. We can start by accessing Reveal Clear Aligner Lab by clicking Go to My Partner and selecting Reveal Aligner Lab. You have buttons on the left to help you start a new case. Review your open cases by month and review all of your open cases. On the right side, support resources are available to you in the Document Center and the Educational Video Center. Here is where you can find things to help you get started, like the Quick Start Guide. There are also educational videos and walkthroughs. To start a new case, you select New Case on the left side. Enter your patient's information. First name, last name, gender, and date of birth. Next, you select the procedure. For new patients, you will always select Reveal Clear Aligners Procedure. You can later come back to order lost or broken aligners or retainers, as well as adjustments, by selecting the corresponding procedure. Once the procedure is selected and loaded, the patient's primary concern goes in first. The rest of the steps can be left as Lab Recommended and Optimize. Optimize means that the lab will look at your scans or impressions and make the best treatment plan possible. If there are any directions you would like to give the lab, you can do so by changing any of the options. If you look here on the right-hand side, we have IPR that defaults to Lab to Recommend. If you want to make changes to that, you can select No IPR or the option that works best for you. For now, we will leave it as Lab to Recommend. Something you do have to do is enter the impression type. Here, you'll need to specify whether you are uploading digital impressions or PVS impressions. If there are specific teeth you don't want to move, you can indicate that here by selecting this tooth, which brings up a tooth chart. Select the tooth that you don't want to move. You are also able to specify teeth you do not want to perform elastic band technique on, teeth you'd like to move as a group, teeth that you don't want to perform IPR on, or teeth you anticipate extracting prior to treatment. You can specify all of that here on this tooth chart. Next, in the section below, is where you'll upload your case files. Select Upload, and then select Files to Add, then select and attach your patient's photos. At this point, if you have scans, you can upload those as well. This requires a scan of both upper and lower arch and a bite registration. Do not close out until all of your uploads have reached 100%. Once they have reached 100%, you can exit out of this window you will find all of your photos are attached to the case and at the bottom of this screen, you can add any notes you want to share with the lab or any specific instructions that you have for your treatment. You can enter a coupon code if you have one or click the double window icon next to the coupon code entry field to see any eligible promotions assigned to your account. You then want to accept the terms, and if you're ready to submit your case, click Submit Case. Otherwise, to save your case as a draft and come back to it, click Save Draft. You can see we save as a draft. I want to point out, 
if you save as a draft, your files will no longer be visible in case files. However, if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll see your files are attached to the case and you don't have to upload them again. When you're ready to move forward, you can go ahead and click Submit Case, and it will show that your case has been submitted to the lab. In this case, because we specified that we would be submitting PVS impressions to the lab, we're going to go ahead and click UPS Ship. You can leave all this information the same and click Create Shipment and print the shipping details. You'll need to print two forms. The first is your work order form, and the second is your UPS shipping label. Provide the work form inside of your package as your packing slip, and affix the shipping label to the package to send it off to the lab. Return back to the case by clicking Back to Case. When you receive a notification that your case is ready to review, sign back into your ddxdental.com account you'll see a pending proposal to review in your Alerts tab on the dashboard. You can enter the review by clicking your patient's name where you'll have a proposal ready to review. Scroll down to the tooth model and select it. The 3D Treatment Viewer will load, giving you visibility to the treatment setup in a 3D model. You can instantly see before and afters represented in the treatment model as well as seeing these before and afters from the front, right, left, back, lower, or upper views. Each of these views can be manipulated by a right-click, hold, and drag to your desired view. You can also see the collision points by clicking Collision. This shows you where the teeth are coming into contact in red. Toggle on and off by clicking the icon. You can toggle superposition as well, which shows you in blue where the tooth started and the natural tooth color is where the tooth ended. If you select 3D IPR, you can see where the IPR is recommended. At this point, if you're satisfied with your treatment recommendation, you can go ahead and click Accept in the bottom right-hand corner. The lab will get a notification to start manufacturing your aligner case, and you will receive it in 15 business days or less. If there are any changes to your case, you can click Modify, you can then type in your modification, save it by clicking Save Note and Submit Modification. That modification will go to the lab where they will review it and send back a new treatment plan within two business days.